Let's talk about the top six reasons why leash reactivity fails. Number six, not paying attention, not focused on the dog or the environment. This can create a buildup in duration or lack of distance when the appearance of stimulus is sudden. Number five, allowing stimulus to build, adding too much duration of exposure to the stimulus. What you wanna do is mark and pay right away for that first orientation to the stimulus. Number four, not creating distance. Remember, distance reduces stress, distance reduces frustration, and distance reduces fear or excitement, thus making your counter conditioning more effective. Number three, Asking the dog for disengagement, such as leave it or touch or asking for their name or asking the dog to sit. What you really want to do is mark yes and pay that dog a high value food reward to create a positive association yes. and teach the dog that the stimulus predicts getting paid. This way the stimulus becomes the cue and you build towards an auto disengage. Number two, not using high value food. Many times people say, my dog isn't foodie when it comes to reactivity. Remember, the dog is extremely stressed, fearful, excited, or frustrated, and fear trumps food. It's about the value of the food. It's payment for the work that you're requiring the dog to do, which is to watch a stimulus and stay under threshold. This is going to go much better if you have high value food. When you mark yes and you pay the dog a high value piece of food, it's like money, money in the bank, and it's gonna have a better chance of creating positive associations, reducing stress, and keeping the dog under threshold. Number one, not using the yes marker. The marker word yes is very valuable to this process. Now, some people might prefer a clicker and that's fine, but I feel the yes marker is more salient, more readily available, and you can increase the volume or extend the S at the end yes. of the word as a prompt. When you use a marker to mark an yes. event, you're tapping into the ascending reticular activating system. This processes novel sounds. This is gonna catalog in the dog's hippocampus, yes. which is gonna create a memory in their long-term memory, and that word yes is gonna act as memory retrieval. In addition, the marker word is going to be a stimulus bridge. This is the official name for a marker. It bridges the gap between the behavior and the food reward. I see many people doing leash reactivity videos and they're not marking the event or the stimulus. You're gonna get much more better results. You're gonna get much more quicker results when you use a marker and you're gonna yes. build towards an auto disengage. Remember, the marker is going to be a cue for memory retrieval. So don't forget to use the marker word. Make sure you say it with enthusiasm. Yes. Let the dog know they're doing the right thing by checking out the stimulus. One of the big problems that people have is they try to get the dog's attention. Remember, dogs operate really well with predictive value. And when you have that marker word, yes, it's known as outshining. This is going to be an environmental cue that will trigger memory retrieval to let the dog know to pop off that marker to get that food reward. When they hear that marker and they turn back, you're getting a disengage. In time, that will build towards an auto disengage. Provided it's not too close, too soon, too sudden, too intense, you will build towards an auto disengage. If you made it to the end of this video, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Now you have six ways to improve your leash reactivity reduction. If you want more helpful tips on how to deal with leash reactivity, check out these videos. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and pass this information on to someone who needs it. Take care, train safe, and we'll see you on the next video.